Hello YouTube, this is Magic, and I'm here to bring you a let's play, not really a let's play, it's more of an instructional guide on how to solo Kelthos in Tempest Keep. Um, yeah, I, I know a lot of people are still hunting after um, Ashes of Alar, the mount he drops, and so I just want to show Warlocks how they can solo it. Uh, one of the s things about uh, soloing Kelthos that you need to know is that you cannot have any pets or minions summon out, so that includes uh, Infernal, your Doom Guard, and your Wild Imps. So because of that, uh, whenever Wild Imps procs your, uh, whenever you fight Kelthos in Phase Four, he will try to mind control you every 45 seconds. So if you have Imps out, he'll just mind control you and reset the entire encounter because of that. So because of that, I have switched to my Destro spec. And I have sacrificed my pet with my grimoire of fact sacrifice. And let me give you a small rundown of how this uh, uh, this uh, encounter uh, works out. Sorry. Um, first off, you'll fight off. You'll fight his four advisors one at a time. And after you knock him out, boom, bam, boom, uh, you get Thaladred the Darkener. And all he does is. Uh, he walks very slowly, and I believe he uh, silences you, which can be an issue if you don't take him down fast enough. Uh, then you face off against Lord Sanguinar on the far right. Uh, he... no. Yeah, yeah, he's the one that fears you, and so you have to watch out for him too. Um, but in the first phase, they're pretty easy on their own, and then Capernaum comes out next. And uh, all she does is give you a disorient from one of her fireballs. Uh, it's kind of random and it sucks. Um, follow up. The most dangerous of these four that you will encounter is Talonicus. It's not so much because he's dangerous, so much as he is. Uh, he stuns you. He has a debuff on you that lasts an entire minute and it ran randomly decides whether you get stunned for four seconds or not. So you can be stun locked repeatedly. I've had it happen like three times in a row, so that was like 12 seconds of pure stunnage, and so I had a man, <laughs> I had a, I had a heal up after that, but thankfully we're warlocks, we have health stones, we have siphon, harvest life, um, we also have unending resolve, the shield, if you're expecting into that, and mortal coil. So it's pretty nice what we have going on there, so no need to worry about that. Finally, after that phase is done and all the four advisors are dead, uh, second phase kicks in, and that's wherein Kelthos summons all like five or six random weapons, and those random weapons attack you. Uh, the one I would try to burn down the fastest uh, would be uh, the the shield, as it will shield bash you and uh, interrupt you and lock, knock you out of your primary uh, spell tree. So. That can be an issue, so I burn that down fast. They don't have a whole lot of health. Uh, the cosmic infuser mace thingy, it will heal them and get rid of debuffs. It cleanses the other weapons, so that's kind of annoying too. But the one you want the most is the, the staff. The staff is very important. You will have to equip that staff once you defeat it. Because after you defeat the weapons, you can loot them. And then they actually go into your bag so you want to arrange it so you can pick it up easily and equip it. And once you equip it, you're going to click on it like that, and you're going to get a 15-minute buff that prevents you from being stunned, silenced, and disoriented. I want to say that, uh, but not MC'd. You can still be MC'd uh, by Kelthos. And this becomes very important because Kelthos, after the weapon phase, um, he goes into phase 3. Oh, he doesn't. The advisors do. Uh, and he summons them all, all at once, and they have buffed up health at this stage. And they all, all attack you at once. And I would focus mainly pr on Talonicus. Uh, he's very annoying. Uh, Capernaum, too, and like Thaldred's like the least worrisome, because he runs so slow you can just sort of kite and shoot at him repeatedly. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, during the weapons phase, uh, if you take too long in the weapons phase, uh, bursting them down, 
he will go into the third phase. And so you have to deal with both the weapons and the four advisors all at once. Um, not to say you can't survive it, but it gets pretty tricky, and I would avoid doing that. And then, actually, once you reach Kelthos's stage, it gets kind of easier, because you only have to deal with him and these flame strikes on the ground that pops up. And eventually, um, out of it comes a phoenix egg. And when the phoenix comes out, you burst it down, or else it'll come up to you and die when it explodes. So you want to do that at range. And then once it dies, it leaves an egg, and you want to burst that down, or else you'll have to deal with another phoenix. And then Kel'thas will summon another phoenix, and it'll keep on growing. So you just want to burst those down while dealing with his 20k uh, 20k uh, hits on you, uh, fireballs that Kel'thas shoots at you. And then once you reach the fifth stage, the last stage, it, you pretty much win at that point. Um, I don't think he summons any more phoenixes at that point. All he does is launch you in the air, and then you're, you're floating around. And so it's like you're swimming in the air while he still does the same fireballs at you. And I think he like summons a shield, but you can burst that down eventually. Um, yeah, you just have to keep your health up. Don't summon any adds. Uh, don't bring out your minions. Don't drop an infernal or your doom guard. Uh, just try to solo it by yourself. And then, yeah, that's it. So that's a long, long explanation. Let me try to go through it quickly. So let's do this proper. Let's do this right. Let's keep it tight. Let's move out. Leroy. All right, I'm going to move over here because we're going to deal with Thaladred first. And there's some line of sight issues here. So you're going to want to watch out for that. Otherwise, you won't be able to see him. So I would stick to this side. And just wait till he, till he becomes targetable after this speech by Kelvoss. But yeah, I really miss Kelvoss. He was, used to be my favorite. And now he's a joke. Uh -oh. Yep, silence. And after this, I can... Shadow burn. Uh oh. Uh oh. I forgot to drop down that. That becomes slightly important. There we go. Then I hit this port. Because she's going to start shooting at you. And you kind of want to separate these two guys. And I forgot to put on the curse. So you just burn this guy. All she does is rain. If you get close to her, she'll bounce you away. Which isn't so much um, that big of a deal since you're a caster. So you won't have to deal with that. So we got Telonicus coming up. He does his debuff. And it's super annoying. So we try to burn him down quickly. Yep, and I got the debuff already. Remote toy. See, and now I'm stunned. I have many weapons in my ass now. And so what I tend to do is hide behind this pillar. Or at least try to. And, uh... Yeah. Try to burn down target that shield. Missed it. Drop down. Oh. Okay, Staff of Disintegration. That's the one you want to loot. And this guy is just annoying because he heals everybody. The cosmic infusion. And so. Apparently, the bow is still shooting at me, so. I'm gonna try to bring it back over here. And if you do this super quick, you actually get some time. 
for everything. All right, I've looted every single legendary. And so let me get out the staff. And you're gonna keep the staff out. You never take it off. Otherwise you lose, lose the buff that it gives you. So now I'm immune to stun, silence, and disorient effects. And I will use that to my advantage. Perhaps I underestimated you. It would be unfair now, to make you fight all foreign Now Kalthas is angry. Now he's gonna summon everyone all at the same time. So I'm gonna focus on Talonicus. And I have a couple chaos first. Uh, chaos bolts. Okay, so I'm not a. I'm gonna pop my heart in result and get some extra shield going. And I forgot to do that. I'm gonna try to focus down on Pernian. She's kind of annoying. And I got a Chaos Bolt, so I'm gonna pop that. I think I got her, so we're good. All I have to do is Sanguinar. And I'll probably use a Ember Tap. Run away from Baladred. Yay for Kill Jade and kind. All right. So this is kind of fun. He kicks you around, so that gives you more space to do cool stuff. Uh oh. Sorry about my technique. It's been a while since I played my Warlock kind of been taking a break. But if you've been playing WoW for long enough, you know how that feels. <laughs> now it's Kel'Thas time. And you want to burn him down as quickly as possible. During this phase, particularly. So I'm just going to keep dropping Chaos Bolts at him. So yeah, you just burn him down as fast as possible. See this? That's where he pops out the phoenixes. You gotta burn them down. And I got another hellstone up, so I'm gonna use that. And you want to burn down the egg. Oh no. And I've used up all my stuff, so. So I'm going to use Hardened Resolve again. Sure, if there's any more buffs I can. All right, I think I've answered. Yeah. Yay! And we're in the final phase. Okay, now he's gonna do his thing. I'm gonna burn down this egg and try to heal up a little bit. Thank goodness for Amber Tap. Oh yeah, I also have Mortal Coil. I'm gonna use that too. He's charging up his lasers. Watch out, guys. It's pretty nice, though. Dude. Ooh, yeah. Get dead. Come on, knight. Uh oh. I think I can target him now. Nope. Not yet. Alright. Okay, now he's doing gravity laps. 
And you actually want to slow down a little bit for this one and get closer to the ground, but not too close. Because he's going to drop you from the floor, so. I'm going to use Mortal Coil. And you don't have to worry about the orbs. I can't even see them, really. Uh-oh. I think I did that without immolation on. Derp. Yeah, this is pretty much... I think we're pretty good here. And I'm gonna cast my Dark Soul. And I forgot to put Immolate on. Boom! And that's how you solo Keltos. Oh, last time I did this, I think I died like three times. So, um, do a quick victory dance. That is required every time you solo Keltos. It helps that you're, uh, that you're an orc, so do that real quick. And then loot. 12 whole golds. Eh, eh, well, no ashes this time, but we don't give up. Because we're warlocks. We knew what we were getting into. So what did I get? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think that matches uh, what a warlock should wear. Uh, but it doesn't match my uh, other stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and got a lot of info out of it. Um, so good luck to you guys. I didn't win this time, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. So, And neither should you. So... Have a good day. This is Magic, signing out.